showed me the picture and then he decoded the picture. And then he gave me the re- re- uh, the reference link to go see it for myself. Because I don't want people to believe me. Don't take read my book and believe me. Go do the research for yourself. Right. And then when we have this conversation, I want you to be able to teach me. Powerful. That makes sense. You know why? So I truly know that you got it. So I ask people, you read the book? Yeah. Okay, well, what did you learn from the book? Teach me something. Right. Oh man, I read your book and on page 67, it said so and so and so and so. And then when I went out, I started seeing, looking at signs and symbols differently. I was like, oh, okay, wow. All right. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a conscious continuum, I call it. That I, I only, when I teach, I learn. And, you're, and you being a personal trainer, when you had to deal with women that were ultra skinny, they had to do a different kind of squat as opposed to one of them <laughs> big booty chicks from, from uh, College Park. Right. <laughs> it's a different, you got to make up a damn squat for them. Right. <laughs> oh, you wrong for that, Griff. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really right for that because there's some big booty women in my family that I'm about to send to you. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. But that that just who and what we are as as as, as black women, we just... My, even, in, even in my family, we just have it like that. That's true. It's natural for us. And we shouldn't be ashamed of it. Exactly. Everybody's trying to get that, but we're not going to have that conversation. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know um, I, I missed you when you were in Atlanta the last time. You had a lecture at uh, Madhu. So what what else do you have in the works? Are you in Atlanta anytime soon? I'm in Atlanta. That's my local area. But feel free to speak freely on wherever you are in the U.S. I'm going to be in Stone Mountain, Georgia for the first time on July 9th at a small little juice bar in downtown Stone Mountain. And I'm looking forward to it, man, because Stone Mountain got a certain kind of negative energy that we need to kind of bust, bust up. When you think of Stone Mountain, you think of the KKK. Right. <laughs> you do. Plain and simple. Uh-huh. So we need to get in there and, and, and offer a new kind of energy because there's business people that are coming in and doing their business. And um, it's a beautiful thing that they're in Stone Mountain. We like Bay Bay kids, man. We everywhere, shoot. And, so and, July 9th, uh-huh. Stone Mountain, people could just go to my website, www.professorgriff.me. I'm going to try to post all of the flyers of where I'm going to be in these particular areas so people are know. Good. Yeah. And let everybody know where they can buy uh, your book, Okay, yeah, people can just call me directly, 678-557-2919. As you've recently learned, I'm a, I'm a direct kind of individual. I'm yeah. up front, I'm personable. You can call <laughs> me and talk to me directly. But they can go to my website and buy the book, or they can just give me a call, or they can go to Madhu Bookstore. Madhu is one of the only bookstores I even deal with. Okay. Madhu Bookstore in Atlanta and, 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 and everyone's place in Baltimore. It's probably the only couple of bookstores I deal with. Okay, cool. Now, other yeah. than other than your lecturing as well as um, your music history and everything, what a lot of people may not know is that you're skilled in martial arts. So wow. I want you to just tell me a little bit about when did that start and how did you learn? Wow, it started when my mom got fed up with me getting in trouble. She said, I'm about to do something with him. So she put me in karate classes. And then from there, uh, I was taught by... I was taught by um, Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans. And from there, um, I started studying under black people that actually put a system together. And that beautiful brother's name is Erskine Matthews. And uh, under him, he had some instructors. And that style was called Kutsugan uh, Karate. And under him, um, I studied under one of the S1Ws that are in Public Enemy right now, uh, Pop Diesel. Okay. So it was, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And all I did was pass the tradition on. That's all. Very and nice. became became part of that martial arts continuum. Um, black people educating and training black people. Right. So it started when I was 13, 14, and I'm 56 now. And I, it's part of my life. There's not a day that I don't throw kicks, punches, meditate, you know, do whatever. It's just part of who I am. I think this is why I was able to stay and keep the youthful appearance and stay active yes. and, do all, and do all the things that I, I do. 
Trust me, I hope I don't look like a 56-year-old no, old no. granddad. You look great, Griff. <laughs> oh, thank you. Reflection, reflection of you. Right. Definitely. And plus I'm a vegan, so I don't I don't have that diet. I don't I don't do yeah. meat. I don't do dairy. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't yeah. So yeah, I'm not eating that Kentucky lie chicken or <laughs> right. dairy queer or right. toxic hell or Burt Murder King. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Or uh toxic hell. You had yeah. the best you had the best play on words, Griff. <laughs> Holotrix, face crook. <laughs> <laughs> or Marta, Marta moving Africans rapidly through Atlanta. <laughs> exactly. Man, well, this has been awesome. As you know, this is the Squat Wisely podcast. So you have to um, kind of close us out with a wise quote or one of your own quotes that you want us to reflect on and live on moving forward. You know, there's so many of those, but I think, as I often say, I often say, I am. Because we are, therefore I am. Uh-huh. And I taught last night on my show, and I'm letting people know when you're venturing into new territory, there's a, um, an Akan proverb. It teaches that you never test the water with both feet. <laughs> you notice when you walk up to a pool to see how cold it is, you only stick one toe in. <laughs> we got people jumping right on in. It's like, no, you don't do that. Right. It's not wise. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Because alligators, crocodiles, and a few other things is waiting for you. I'm saying um, there's no big I, though, in little you. Uh That's why I'm so personable. There's no big I in little you. I am because we are, therefore I am. I I wouldn't even be Professor Griff if it wasn't for you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. And now you're part of the history. You become part of the continuum now. Uh So now you're charged with the duty and responsibility of passing this word forward. Uh-huh. What you do with this interview is, is entirely up to you. But you're going to be held responsible for it. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. And that's it in a nutshell, love. Yes. Well, thank you and so much. And of course, much. I, cannot, I cannot get off this interview without giving um, honor um, to my queen, Soleil, uh-huh. who has been that better half and, 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 and that balance. We talk about ancient comedic African principles, but then when we when we when we talk about where we are today and never give credit to women like you uh-huh. or to the woman that got my back, right. it always supported me. You understand what I'm saying? We fall short. True. So shout out to Soleil, who's also a martial artist, and she oh, owns her right. own Kung Fu school. Oh, really? In Atlanta? Yeah. No, in, in Maryland. Oh, okay. She's, um, um, yeah, she's a yoga instructor, study under yogis in India. You understand what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And, and we have to point out that fact. You understand? Because a right. lot of times we talk about for every strong man, there's a strong woman. Well, uh-huh. what about the other way around? Right. That's true. <laughs> Where did the strong women get their support? Exactly. And we have to start creating those platforms and being that support. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Plain and simple. Plain All right. And simple. Well, thank you so much, Griff. Guys, I'm going to give away uh, Griff's book. I'll give details on that later, but I want to thank right. him for his time. And uh, have a wonderful and fabulous rest of your day. Oh, give thanks. I really appreciate you, all right? All right. Thank you, Griff. I'm going to send some of them big booty family members to your class. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right. All right. Bye. All right. Peace. (laughs) Get a world-class motivational speaker to your next event. Kristen Hester offers professional speaking services in Atlanta, Georgia, and beyond. To hire Kristen, visit www.kristenspeaks.com. K-R-I-S-T-E-N. Well, I really enjoyed talking to Professor Griff. I hope you guys enjoyed our discussion. Like I said, I'm going to be giving away the book. I have uh, three copies that I want to give away. So three copies of the book I want to give away. This is how it works, all right? You have to go to the Squat Wisely uh, Facebook page. So just look up Squat Wisely. You need to like the Squat Wisely page, all right? Because our little podcast family is just starting. So we're trying to grow, grow, grow. So definitely like the Squat Wisely page. And then I want you to leave a comment saying, I want Professor Griff's book. Now, you're going to have to be one of the first three to make that post. All right. So I'll be checking the page. I'll keep up with the uh, date and time of the posts and the order in which they are received. 
And those first three people, I'll be notifying you uh, through Facebook to get your name and address so I can have a book sent out to your home. All right. So definitely like the Squat Wisely podcast Facebook page to subscribe to the podcast. You can subscribe through iTunes. Simply look up uh, Squat Wisely when you're on the um, iTunes app. If you're using Android, you can use Stitcher. And through Stitcher, you'll look up Squat Wisely and you'll be able to subscribe to the podcast that way as well. All right. For any updates, you can always check my Facebook page. Uh, The Facebook page, like I said, is Squat Wisely. Be sure again to like the page. Hurry up and run to the page and leave a comment. If, if I have 10 comments but only two likes, something is wrong, all right? So make sure that you like the page and let me know that you want Professor Griff's book. And if you're one of the first three, then you'll have the book right away. So I'm going to go ahead and close out, guys. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll be back next time to do it all over again. You've been listening to the Squat Wisely Podcast. Professor Kristen Hester is a philosophy professor, fitness professional, and motivational speaker. For well over a decade, she's led philosophy courses within the University System of Georgia. Kristen leads group fitness classes in Atlanta, as well as leading one-on-one personal training sessions. She strengthens the body as well as the mind. We'll see you next time on the Squat Wisely Podcast with Professor Kristen Hester.